Hello there, only one Kenobi here, only one, and welcome to another episode of Figure Hacks. Something you may have tried before, or you've done it a different way, I don't know, but this is how I have made a light side Dooku, just pre-turning to the dark side, leaving the Jedi Order at least, before he became a political idealist, not a murderer. Well, so they thought. So there it is. Um, I love Dooku, really I'm interested by him. I didn't used to like him, I used to think he was quite annoying, how you went from seeing... Obi-Wan Kenobi, you know, kicking Darth Maul's ass to, you know, being bested by this old man. But, you know, you realise that he has a lot of more mental capacity and power over the likes of Obi-Wan on his own. Sorry, I'm knocking the camera. So this is how I've done it. Also, on my previous upload, you will have seen I've opened him. I got him the other day, knowing full well I wanted an alternative Qui-Gon, you know, with an expanded universe look to go with this guy on a shelf my expanded universe shelf, so that's why I have him there. And also I thought I'd put Yoda amongst the mix, don't forget that obviously he was the master of all, you know. As he said to Obi-Wan Kenobi in Attack of the Clones, of which I shall now bring in two figures of Dooku which are knowingly the best Dooku figures, you know, he said Qui-Gon Jinn would never join you. Don't be too sure, my young Jedi. You forget that he was once my apprentice, as you were once his. So, speaking of Dooku, one thing that we have been saying a long time is that we, we need another Dooku, or we need a Dooku in the vintage collection, and I dare say they could improve him. The two best Dookus before him, he's the 2005 Dooku, I'll come to him in a minute, are these two. This one came in the commemorative Blu-ray pack, and this, I think, maybe somewhere else as well, you'd get him. This one came in the Sith Evolutions pack. They are the same figure, except for the head sculpt. This one is a lot more angrier or sterner. This one looks more like, you know, the Dooku that you first see in Attack of the Clones, you know. The Commerce Guilds and the Corporate Alliance, you know, our friends from the Trade Federation have pledged their support. And you don't really know who he is, you know. You think he is just an ex-Jedi who is, you know, the centre figurehead of the... The separatists, but then obviously when he whips out that black saber, see him side by side with Darth Sidious, you realise that he is the bad guy. But they kind of hold back on that. They don't kind of reveal 100% who he is. But these are great figures of Dooku. You could customise them, I think, as well, if you really wanted to. One thing I noticed on Google is if you, and on YouTube, if you see what people have done for thumbnails of YouTube videos. I'm talking about Star Wars Theory here, who had a massive run of videos about Dooku. He liked to portray a younger Dooku with an old head of Christopher Lee, because, you know, God, the guy has been in so many films that you could Photoshop any old image of Christopher Lee on the top of it. But they, they seem to have Dooku as a Jedi wearing a cape. And like I said in a video not long ago, I don't believe he would have worn a cape. I think that's something that he wore... Post-Jedi. I like the idea of Dooku wearing a robe, just like the other Jedi would. I know he's unconventional, and he might have not necessarily worn conventional Jedi attire, but I... Because he was a Count, he comes from an aristocratic background. Uh, that's why he ultimately left the Jedi Order. He wanted... He yearned for greater power, as any Sith would, because he comes from a wealthy background of possession, no doubt. So it was very tough for a guy like him to become... A selfless Jedi. Um, but I, I firmly believe he would have looked, sorry about the exposure, like, you know, Obi-Wan or any other Jedi. Maybe his attire underneath would have been different. See, this one figure I've used here, I shall go into the details of how I've made it. And I am not having that, ladies and gentlemen. Let me sort that out right away. The reason I made this Dooku was, or how I made him, was using a really, really good Dooku figure, which has stood the test of time as well, the 2005 one. And this is a figure that was at the advent of super articulation. It has ball joints on the arms and, and, and shoulders, which means that you can do a lot more poses. I have him like that because in the diorama I have on my sequels, prequel shelf over there, I have him facing off. There, he, there they are, there's Anakin and there's... Uh, yeah, let's go over there and show you how I had it. I have him stood... Like that, just between the two of them, you know. I've been looking forward to this. And then obviously there's another one of that figure with Anakin. Just, I love that. Good, Anakin. Good. <laughs> kill him. I love that. His face is an absolute picture when he says, kill him. I just want to be a fly on the wall, you know, the scenes before that. Anyway, so I don't believe he would have worn a cape like that as a Jedi. I mean, it would not have been allowed. It certainly would have been frowned upon. 
And um, as I said in my previous video, capes are a symbol of status. That's why you've got like people like Lando who likes to wear a cape. Lord Vader wears a cape. You know, mm, what's he called now? Moff Gideon wears a cape. And he wore, he wears a cape because, you know, he is from, not only from an aristocratic background, but then he is sort of a leader of something. You know, he is the leader of the separatists. So the sort of cape sort of signifies his power, you know, and his position in that in that institution. So how personally did I make that custom Dooku? Well, I chose to use the 2005 figure because it, well, it's a good one. I also had a spare one that came without the robe. I have two with the robe, as you saw over there. But uh, the one that didn't have a robe I did have on my Clone Wars shelf just stood next to Ventress. Because, you know, you see Dooku at home a lot in the Clone Wars. And he isn't wearing a cape at all. He's like, it's almost like he's wearing his pajamas, <laughs> you know, his homeware, you know, comfort, comfort clothes. But um, I decided to take that one and put a Jedi robe on it. And then, hey, presto, there you are. What I actually started to use was, and I've used it for a previous figure hack, was this robe here, which not is not from the legacy Obi-Wan, which is what you're seeing spinning there. It comes from the Luke Skywalker the Black Series one, which is also a repack of the Jedi construction Luke. The cape that came with that Luke was shrunk down considerably, so it was more fitting. And I tell you what, it works, as you can see here, way better on that Obi-Wan Kenobi. So I thought, well, you know, I'm, I'm going to use the same cape again to put on Dooku. But it didn't quite work. It's quite a light colour, and it made him look like Obi-Wan. And I figured, well... I had to spare one. In fact, actually, to be honest with you, the, the the robe I have gone for is actually that one you see there is the Legacy Collection Obi-Wan robe, which is quite baggy, as you know. There's something more mysterious about that, given the fact that the guy does become a Sith. It's a darker brown. I know it looks quite light now because of the exposure of the picture, but let me just darken it for you there. It's a darker brown. As, as you know, Anakin had a very dark brown robe in Revenge of the Sith, so dark that it looked black almost in some scenes. So... I've gone for that one and it works a lot better. I may have a picture I can put up of how Dooku looked when he had the Obi-Wan one on. But it's not even an Obi-Wan one, it's the, it's the Luke Jedi construction one. But um, from the back it looks a little bit funny there. But still, from certain angles, you get a real good sense of um, how mysterious Dooku looked. And I'd love to know what he was like as a Jedi and what things he did. You know, and his training of Qui-Gon, who's an also an interesting maverick Jedi more so a light side user than he would give him credit but uh there he is right there it would be nice if they could put something inside these robes here to give them weight like some wire just around the scene there so you can kind of mold it like that you know what i'm saying anyway don't forget what lucas said you know he was supposed to be reminiscent of obi-wan as an older man dooku was like the dark side obi-wan and there it is and then the actual lightsaber. Let's get on to that then. So the light... Ooh, the lightsaber has gone on the floor, ladies and gentlemen. The lightsaber I have used comes from this Dooku, which was the first ever, ever Dooku I got. There he is, so you couldn't see him. This is Darth Tyrana, strictly speaking, this uh, lightsaber. Let me put that there. Look, look at that. It's got magnetic. A lot of these figures from 2002 had magnets on them. So you got metal hilts, um, which were fantastic. I know that an Obi-Wan figure got a metal hilt. And then there's an Anakin one that does. So I used to have this guy on the shelf holding his red saber like that. Like he was in sort of like mid-spin. I had him dueling Anakin. I'll go and get him off the shelf. That's the figure I use of Tyrannus slash Dooku that I have with this figure, which is a terrible... I say terrible, that's a bit harsh. It's not a great figure of Anakin, but from behind holding two sabers, it mocks up. The duel between Anakin, whoosh, chucks the saber, Dooku versus Anakin. But the the hilt was metal, and as you can see, it's metallic, designed for that figure. But I put a blue hilt on it. A lot of the figures had removable lightsaber blades on them, so they had these, and they got rid of that eventually, probably because things went missing and they snapped off. But the end of the hilt is here. This is it. So technically, can you see that? You've got the hilt there you can put put it onto the blade and then the emitter is on that as well um so it looks good it does look a good figure if you i, I as i say, i had him like that like he was almost like that's a freeze frame and he was like spinning it and then together with anakin it looks quite good on the shelf like that 
because that's a pretty pretty good fight actually. It's only very a couple of seconds long, but when Anakin starts wailing the wielding those sabers, it looks great. Sorry about the focus. There you go. But I decided to sacrifice that saber because it did look good like that. But I, you know, I swapped sabers around and I've now given him this one in that hand there and that'll do. So now he's sort of like that or something like that on my Attack of the Clone shelf. Whoosh, yoink, off they go. So now what I've done is I've taken out that blade there and I've just found, because there's tons of them. I don't know which one I got this off. I think it was from a spare one somewhere. Uh, I'm not quite sure who or where it's from. But still, if you've got a 2002 collection, you'll find spares. I think I know where I got it from. I think I got it from Jet Lucas. Jet Zuckus. Let me go and show you where I got it from. I've remembered. Down here, Revenge of the Sith, I've got a mock-up there of Anakin slaughtering younglings. And that figure there came with a lightsaber. He's the guy who actually took on the 501st. However, I just wanted one youngling to be facing off with Anakin. Look at that, because that's such a good figure silhouetted. That hard get goods cape is awesome. It's a rubbish figure inside, by the way, but you're not supposed to see it from that the front. You see it from there, which looks epic. So he had a saber and a hilt, which I've taken off him, which meant I had a spare one of these. And all these figures have them. There's another sort of mediocre figure, but metal hilt and removable blade. And there you are. So that's how I did it. Now, I know it doesn't have an emitter blade, but uh, it still looks the part, and I'm glad to have a Dooku with a curved hilt, because one could only assume that Dooku would have kept the same design, much like Anakin, you know. Uh, if you look at the design of Anakin Skywalker's first lightsaber that he has in Attack of the Clones, the one that gets destroyed in the droid factory, Obi-Wan's going to kill me. That saber is the exact same design as what Vader uses. Then obviously he has the classic New Hope saber, which is like design number two. But still, they're, they're all very similar. They have a style, don't they? So if Dooku likes curved lightsabers as a Sith, he would have liked them as a Jedi. Before that, when I had a few mock-ups of uh, Dooku, I was using this old Power of the Force 2 Ben Kenobi one, which did also work, you know, because I'd like to think that Dooku had a blue saber, only because of the fan art that I have shown you earlier in this video. I'll show you again. <gasps> oh my God, sorry about that. Uh, Dooku, I like the idea of him wearing, having blue, only because of that whole Obi-Wan Kenobi reference, you know. And obviously Qui-Gon has green, so it's a kind of like blue-green combo. But uh, there you are, ladies and gentlemen. But Dooku, as I say, fascinating character. A wise, renegade, rogue Jedi. And I'm not only interested in what he did with Qui-Gon, but also his relationship in the temple with this young lady here. How far back does their relationship go? You know, he must, he must have been scouting or sensing her ability or knew her deepest, darkest thoughts, and potential for Sith and power going way back, way back years during the time of when he had an apprenticeship. Or Qui-Gon had an apprenticeship with Dooku. Anyway, it's fascinating, isn't it? I love it. This has been Only One Kenobi, Only One. If you are new around here, please do subscribe. I do quite enjoy doing these figure hack videos because, you know, when I show you how I've done it, I hear back from you and you tell me how you have done it, which is fantastic as well. And I learned something from you and you may have learned something from me. And that is all for thee. This has been Only One Kenobi. Only One. Out.